Hey, it's good to see you. It's about 11 o'clock at night. I finally got a shower. Ugh, it has been a day. You know, my younger son had a friend over. Well, he didn't leave here until about 5 o'clock this evening. And then I had stuff I had to do, and it was just... It's just been a, it's been a crazy weekend. Um, I saw a comment on the video I posted tonight about, you know, will you do a video decorating your tree? Well, I wanted to explain why I'm not too keen on doing that. To me, and I, I don't know why this is, but when I decorate my tree, it's like a ritual. It's like this thing where I don't want to have to talk to anybody. I don't want anybody bothering me. I, that's why I try to do it usually when my kids are not here. And I have some time, you know, like I'll put in a Christmas movie or I'll play music or something. And I get all my ornaments out and I lay them all out. I get them organized and I have a certain order that I put things on the tree in. And it's, you know, it's like this whole ritual thing that I do. And I dearly love it. And honestly, the thought of trying to make a video while I did that, it just honestly, it just kind of messes it up. And I don't really enjoy it as much. Now, I do have two trees. Now, you could say, well, you could do that with one. I'm being I'm being selfish. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it with either of them. You know, now we are going to do something with the peacock tree that we've never done before. And I'm, I'm going to have to do a voiceover for that because I have the tree people coming tomorrow. I'm getting my FU trees put in my backyard. That was a real thing. That was not hypothetical at all. I'm getting a whole row of FU trees put in my backyard against that fence so I don't have to deal with Miss Prissy Pants over there anymore. It's going to be very obvious what I'm doing. And I'm getting some tree trimming done, um, like my, my crepe myrtle. They're going to trim it back. I'm getting a pink dogwood in my front yard. I am just so excited. I'm getting some stumps ground down. Anyway, it's going to be noisy and I have to work tomorrow, so... I, I just, I think I'm going to have to do a voiceover of something I'm going to do. Now, I'm not going to make a video of me decorating the whole tree. Because, again, like I say, I just want, that's just for me. That's just something I do for me. I don't really care to make a video of that. I'll show it to you when it's done. I will definitely show it to you when it's done. Because I'm, I'm going to be proud and I'm going to show it off anyway. When I did my first tree this year, um... I, you know, we got all the Christmas stuff down, and I was just excited. Like, I wanted to go ahead and decorate it. But there was just chaos, you know, with kids and noise and people going in and out. And it, it was a ruin. Like, I shouldn't have tried to do it, but I did. And I didn't really enjoy decorating that tree. By the time I got done, I was so irritated. Like, I didn't even enjoy it. So, I'm going to wait until the kids are back in school to do the peacock tree. And I I might do it tomorrow if at all possible. It depends on how long the tree people are here. If it's if it's noisy and just chaos, I may just have to wait and do it some other day when it's quieter around here. Around here. Um, but that's why I don't really want to make a video of me decorating the tree. Plus, there's not really any good way to show it to you. I mean, I guess I could hold my cell phone in one hand and place ornaments with the other, but you'd probably get seasick after about five minutes of that because I have to go up and down, up and down. You know, getting the ornaments, and that's kind of hard to do one-handed with some of these ornaments. So, especially if they don't have ornament hooks on them yet, it's just a big old pain in the butt. But yeah, I'm I'm not gonna make a video of me decorating the tree because that's something that I enjoy, and I didn't really enjoy doing the first one this year. So I'm definitely gonna enjoy the second one. If I have to wait for a quieter day, I'll wait for a quieter day. But uh, you know, I don't make videos of everything because some things. Some things are just kind of hard to set up for a video anyway. Like, there's no good way to do it. And I just don't think there's a good way to make to make a video of me decorating the tree. You know, and you could say, well, you could just set the thing up on a tripod and have it record. But I'm aware it's there. And then I'm... It, it's distracting. It's just distracting. I'm just a whiny butt tonight. I feel like all I've done is whine at you for four and a half minutes. I do apologize. Um, But, yeah. I'm trying something new, and it's going to be interesting to see how it turns out. It's something I've never done before. But see, before I go, I have to tell you, my dad's second wife, she, she they were married. My mom and dad were married 33 years. My dad was married to my, my first stepmom 
for 17 years and she died suddenly um oh my gosh like six five or six years ago now um and then like two or three years after that he met my new stepmom that he's married to now so but my first stepmom she I looked forward to seeing her Christmas tree every year. She would get a fresh, you know, like a live tree. And the way she, she just had this knack for decorating. She never like took classes or anything to learn how to do it. It was just like this talent that she had. Like she could decorate the tree and it looked like something in a magazine. And every year it was totally different. She would do a different, a uh, whole different theme to the tree every year. And it was just gorgeous. And she did this thing this one year and I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to do what she did. I'm not exactly sure how she did it. It involves really wide mesh. I've never worked with really wide mesh. I'm scared of this stuff. There are two rolls of it in my living room right now. And I walk wide paths around it because it freaks me out. It's like a snake. I just, ew. I don't want to get too close to it. You know, I'm just used to the six inch mesh for the wreaths. But this is like big old 21 inch mesh. But that's what she used and it was beautiful. And if I can make it work, I think it'll look nice. But... Man, I don't know. She might be rolling in her grave, depending on how it turns out. <laughs> but it's kind of in honor of her because she every year I look forward to seeing what kind of tree she came up with. I just wish I'd taken pictures. I never took pictures. But her tree was beautiful every single year. It's just gorgeous and totally different every year. And it, she she just had a knack for it. She was very good at it. She could have done it professionally, honestly. I, I mean, it was beautiful every year. Anyway. That's why I'm not going to make a video decorating my tree, but I'm definitely going to show it to you when it's all done. And I will show you the, the other trees, like a pencil tree. It's like one of those skinny trees and it's done all in red and gold. It's not really anything fascinating. I mean, it's just a red and gold tree. But the other one is going to have a peacock theme and I'm really looking forward to seeing how it turns out. So I am going to brush my teeth and go to bed. I'm tired. I got I to gotta get up in the morning and go back to work. So uh, I hope you have a wonderful night or day or afternoon or whatever the hell it is where you are. I will see you again soon.